everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and today I'd like to do a create with me on something that I made yesterday for the current journal I'm working on and I thought, oh, this is awesome. I want to make another one. So why not bring you guys along while we create another one together? Let me show you this. I love this. It is a lace lined embellished envelope. Yay! I know this has been done before and uh, this is just my take on it and I'm hoping to inspire you to go create some of your own. These are really fun and they're really quick and easy. So let me show you this. I just tied it together with some green and cream twine. Move that out of the way. It's more like a yarn and here it is. Um, I've got a tuck spot here where I added some additional little bit of ephemera. I did so all the way around the edges, added some lace, but there it is on the inside, fully lined with lace. I love that. And then the pocket on the inside can hold, you know, additional journaling paper, ephemera, postcards, whatever you like. And then on the back, there is a belly band that goes across the center to hold additional bits of ephemera and other goodies. Yay! Hey, So let's create one of these. So I'll move that out of the way. So what you're going to need is a standard sheet of copy paper. And regular copy paper I find works best for these envelopes. And that is a 20 pound weight of paper. Anything heavier in weight may get a little too thick for folding. That's just um, in my experience what I found is when you're using a heavier cardstock it doesn't fold as well and it gets a little chunky. And these can be any size you want but what I started out with for this particular envelope is a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So what I did is I lightly distressed one side and on the other side I did run through my printer and I wanted this to be the exterior of my envelope. So whatever pattern of uh, paper you want to do, you know, just have at it. So we're going to start out with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper with whatever design you want on it. And I'm going to have my design be on the outside. And you just need to cut a piece of lace, which I have done here. And it is exactly the same width. It is a little bit longer along the top. And I like that because what happens, let me get this back out here, is it creates just a little bit extra hanging down and I like the way that looks but there again that's personal preference. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this into thirds and I'll get my other one out again as kind of uh, just to show you the template. I'm going to fold this up like that and then fold the top down and as you can see uh, you want to have a little bit, you don't want the whole thing to be folded right in half so this edge meets this end right here. I like to leave, this is about an inch, and that just creates a little bit of extra right here for the envelope flap, and I just think that that looks really good. So, I know there's uh, envelope templates out there, and you can definitely use that for this particular um craft, you know, create with me. But to me, I really like the way this looks and it's so easy. I just love it. So anyways, you're going to fold it up, like I said, in thirds. And then you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue the lace on the interior. Now I would use either Fabri-Tac or Art Glitter Glue or some sort of PVA glue on this. I don't think a glue stick would adhere the lace as well. So something that will adhere lace to paper. So what I'm going to take is just a fine line of art glitter glue and go along the seam. I'm going to go along each of the seams here. And a cool thing about art glitter glue is it dries clear. And I love that. And it has um, 
on this a fine tip so you really can be precise about um, where your glue ends up. <laughs> so I'm just going to line that there and press it down on that. Ooh, I've got some got some wax on my hand. Ooh, as you can tell, I've been crafting today. <laughs> and then along the side, you can either do the art glitter glue or uh, the Fabri-Tac. And I am going to do the Fabri-Tac along the exterior just because I want a pretty good amount on all of the edges. So you're going to go around the whole thing. And it doesn't matter if your lace is exact, if it's overhanging a little bit or a little bit short. If it's hanging over, you can always cut it off. And if it's a little bit too short, you're not going to see it because the envelope's going to be all folded up anyway. So that's the deal here. So let's get this going here. And you want to make sure you have a pretty good amount of glue there. And then let me show you on my example here on the interior of the top flap, which is right along here. I folded it in just you know, eyeball, whatever you want to do, but you want to make sure each side is the same. So this is all about eyeballing, right, you guys? Eyeballing. <laughs> and there you have it. I think that looks pretty dang good. And then when you fold it over, let's see if I get this correct here. If you fold it over like that now see on this one i folded it a little bit too much so i went over my line oh so i gotta make it a little bit shorter so note to self you don't want to go beyond where your fold line is if that makes sense so i'll make it a little bit less right there and then there you have it and i am going to take my trusty wallpaper spreader, bone folder, ruler, whatever you have, and press it down. And then same thing on the bottom. Going to fold that up. Same deal here. And basically, you have your envelope. Ha! Huh? You could be done, right? No, but not in my book. Not in my book at all. So on this one, I did create um, a little, uh, you know, insert here or a place where you can grab out the ephemera. So I have a hole punch, which I don't have in front of me. So we're going to eyeball it. So what can you use? You can use anything. Use anything round. But I have found that I am not good at just cutting a circle. It just doesn't work for me. It really doesn't. So I'm just going to go around and eyeball this in the center and do a little half circle. So take whatever you have. You could take your Fabri-Tac. I just grabbed my E6000 here. Oh, and this is cool, you guys. I just found this. Look at this. Spray adhesive E6000. Oh, I haven't used it yet. I just got it. I'm excited about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. And you know, like I said, more power to you if you can eyeball this without some sort of uh, tracing over the half circle. I cannot. And you know, that's okay. So there you have it, right along the side there. And then along that edge here, Come on, come on, Fabri-Tac. Oh, now this is getting clogged. Do you guys ever have this problem? You're going along fine and then stuff clogs up on you. Come on. There we go. And I'm gonna get a little more on the side. That one did not get glued down like that. And then before you fold up your envelope, make sure that that's dry because it'll glue everything together and you don't want that yet. <laughs> 
Come on, a little bit more there. All right, I think that looks very good. And then along the outside, I am going to go around and distress the edge. I like the way that looks. And remember what I said about the little bit of overhang? Just cut that off. And no one will ever know. So there we go. Got that. Going to do a little bit more distressing. So I hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm excited about the upcoming. I'm also going to do the seam. Upcoming Thanksgiving, we're having everyone, all of my husband's family over, and it's going to be a bunch of little guys there, little grandkids, not my grandkids, but my uh, sister-in-law's um, grandkids. So I guess those are my grand nephews. So that'll be fun. They range from two down to like Mm, I don't know, four months or something. So it'll be a house full. It'll be really fun. I'm excited. So what I'm doing is I'm just distressing all of the edges there. And I did go along this fold just because I like the way that that looks. All right. And then you have your envelope. Doesn't that look fabulous? Yes, it does. And see, there's a little bit of overhang. Cut that right off. looks so good. Okay, now from here, we're going to add on our little bits of ephemera. So what I've done is I've got my belly band already pre-cut, and this is just some more of the uh, pattern that I'm using in my current journal, and I did do the gold wax on both sides. You guys, I am obsessed with this. I had to go buy another one. Rub and Buff Gold Leaf. I think I've created a monster. I will never probably make a journal without using this <laughs> in some color or another because I love it that much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do the same thing as I did on this particular guy on the back. And we're going to glue the belly band across the back. Come on, Fabri-Tac. Any strong glue will work here. There we go. And I made this one a little too long. See, what do you what do you know about eyeballing, right? Huh? All right. Cut that off. Did I get that? Did I get it right? No, see, I can't even I can't even cut a straight line. Oh. Okay, there. So that's going to be along the back and then along the front, what I did on this particular um, envelope is see this along the bottom? That is some coffee dyed uh, lined paper that I'm also using in this journal. So basically it was an off cut. And I happen just to have another one. Oh, imagine that. So I'm just going to do that along the front. Just because I like, I like um, contrast. I like different patterns. I like uh, just to add a little bit more interest. But then there again, totally optional. So I'm just going to use my glue stick on this one and glue the whole thing down. that that looks really cool. So it's absolutely freezing here today. It's like, I don't know, it's a little warmer now, but when we woke up today, 10 degrees. Yike! And I swear, just like two or three weeks ago, it was gorgeous. You could sit outside in shorts, but that's Colorado weather for you. All right, now let's see, did I do anything else? Oh, yes, on this, on the front, I did create a little tuck spot. 
So I've got a couple little bits of uh, ephemera that I'm also using in this journal. And we're gonna glue that right on there. Isn't that pretty? All of this is from the Graphics Fairy. Oh, love it. They're a premium membership site. They've got the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff over there. So I'm gonna add that onto the side of that because I think it looks pretty, right? Why not? And it kind of brings the whole thing together in my opinion. So it is the same pattern um, on this bit of, uh, you know, this pocket right here with, with the same down here. So I like the way that looks. It kind of brings it together. It kind of looks like it went together. I'm gonna cut that off. Distress the top of that. That looks fabulous. And we're gonna glue that down. And as you can see, I did go around the edges. I'm telling you, <laughs> with that stuff. All right, and I am just gonna glue the bottom so that it will be a tuck spot on the top, like that. So that looks wonderful. Now, let's see, what else did I do? Anything here? I did add something else. Hold on just a second. We got to back up the truck. As I say, I wanted to add some lace. So I want to put some additional lace or some other fabric along the bottom there. So I am going to just crunch that up and put that along the bottom. Come on. Do the old crunch scrunch technique, right? Got a pretty good amount there. And just a little bit of fabric. I'm gonna move that around and just scrunch it down to, uh, to wherever I like it. And really, I just scrunch until I like it. <laughs> so there you have it. Yay, yay. Now from here, I am going to sew around the whole thing like I did on my example. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, this is where you would glue these two flaps down just along this edge right there and then glue your sides together. So I will be right back. So hold on and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I am finished sewing my edges. And here it is. Look how cool that is. I absolutely love it. Let's add some finishing touches. Oh, of course. Okay, on this one, I did add a little uh, fabric and bead remnant. On this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to create just a little cluster of some... Um, this is like a... Uh, uh, a gold mesh that I received from a friend of mine. Look how pretty that is. And it's it's kind of like tulle, but it's a little um, not as fine of a weave. I just love it. So I'm going to put that and do the old scrunch technique. Now, granted, I could have done this. I'm thinking now before I uh, sewed around the edges, but that's okay because, you know, it is what it is. And... You know, you never know. And then I'm going to add a little bit of gold bling on a roll, I think, if I can get this to stick down like that on the edge. That looks so good. <gasps> Yay. Yay. So there's the front. And stick a little bit of your ephemera on the inside whatever you want and then let's add some stuff to the inside i've got some postcards as you guys know i love 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 postcards so you know we're just going to stick one inside there and then on the back side we're going to add another couple like that and some authentic ephemera like this Oh, actually, I like it behind because I like the other one showing through. And then on this particular one, 
I did add a little bit of embellishing on the side here, so we'll do something like that. Let me see what I have in my stash. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's do that. Got some long trim there that I'm going to be using. And then maybe, let's see what we got here. This is, this is uh, like I do on the on the go crafting or as you go, not on the go. <laughs> that means I'd be going somewhere, right? As you go. Hmm. I don't know if I like that as much, although that green goes really well. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe a little scrunchy bit of lace or an elite, maybe some gold. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Some gold and some lace. Ooh, there's the fancy side. See, you never know what side's up. If it's getting dark in here, it's because it's late in the day. And I am doing this video later on in the day. And since we had our time change, I'm all screwed up. Although, the one that really screws me up is the spring forward. It takes me like six months <laughs> until we, we do the fall back. It takes me that long to get used to it. Because I always feel like I'm behind. And my husband says that's all psychological. But I still feel like that, right? I don't know. Let me cut that little bit off of there. Whoops, sorry if I bonked the camera. Okay, these two are completed. Look! Or I should say the one we did today is completed. <laughs> all right. Ooh, we have more ephemera. Look, oh yeah. Some more ephemera. Little tags going there. See, you can just go nuts with this kind of stuff. Isn't that cool? Oh, oh. yeah. Hey, maybe that'll go on this side. I keep adding stuff. This is how I roll, you guys. I keep adding. I don't know. So, there you have it. Two embellished envelopes made out of a sheet of copy paper. <laughs> love this. Oh, I absolutely love these, you guys. This was so fun. I mean, and so easy. And just imagine these tucked into on the side of your journal or in a, you know, in a pocket or a belly band. Oh, just so cute. Or even on, you know what, even on the cover, like you just tie a ribbon around it and put it um, in the, on the cover of your junk journal. <sighs> so much fun. Well, I hope you guys are inspired. I'm inspired. I want to go make some more. <laughs> I can make an envelope journal, which is another idea. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you for watching and I will see you soon in my next video.